So 54% is 190 miles. Hey YouTube, today my friends at EVS Republic have a very interesting idea. If you never heard of these guys, they are experts who specialize in custom builds and repairs to the public for Tesla customers. They were nice enough to invite AI Addict to document a wild request. In addition to having over 40 Teslas for sale to the public right now, they also have many vehicles laying around that they use for parts. Now this is where it gets interesting. They wanted to do something that I have never seen done before. Upgrade a Model X 75D to a Model X 90D by hand. Therefore, we were invited to watch and document as they accomplish this crazy task. Let's get started. So uh, the biggest risk when you are replacing the battery is uh, to plug in the battery connector into the car's connector. 100% of our employees who did the first time, they broke the connectors. And the problem is to replace connector from the part of the battery going to cost around $300. But if you broke the connectors inside the car, I will show you later how it looks like. You have to change all high voltage system. It's going to cost about three or three and a half thousand dollars. So it's very expensive and very high risk to Now that we know the risks and complexity involved for this process, let's safely begin by raising the Tesla Model X into the air. Once the Model X is in the air, the mechanics must first remove a few battery trim pieces along the perimeter of the battery pack by using a trim removal tool to carefully take out several plastic river clips. Next, like any good mechanic, the negative ground is disconnected from the onboard 12 volt battery. Now comes time to use power tools to remove the numerous bolts holding the battery pack to the bottom of the Model X. As you can see by this time lapse, there are many bolts preventing the battery from falling off on the highway. After all bolts are removed from the battery, it's time to wheel over a custom rig designed in-house, which is meant to easily hold and transport the battery around the shop. Once the rig has been aligned, the Model X is slowly lowered. However, we need to stop a few inches above the rig to make last second adjustments. At this point, you can now see the yellow jack pads are not touching the car. The full weight of the car and battery are being supported by EVS Republic's custom made rig on wheels. After readjusting the jack pads, the Model X is lifted into the air so the battery can be safely removed and dropped out of the car. Now that the 75 kilowatt hour battery has been removed from the vehicle, you can see what the bottom belly of a Tesla looks like. You can also see the top of the full battery pack in all its glory. Additionally, you can see here in the corner of the battery the manufacturer sticker showing that we have removed a 75 kilowatt hour battery made by Tesla. Since we have this custom made battery rack, it makes moving and transporting the old 75 kilowatt hour battery into storage a breeze. Now, in order to locate a replacement battery, you must first make a short drive to our friend Olek at Donut Auto Parts, who will be providing us with a replacement 90 kilowatt hour battery pack. Well, thank you so much for inviting us back to your shop. Do you want to show us around? Yeah, for sure. Come on in. Here's all the Teslas we got for parts. A lot of Model S, uh, Model 3, Model Ys, Model X in the back corner. So if you'll need any parts or a cut or a bumper or a battery, we got it all. 90 kilowatt battery pack for the upgrade. It's ready to go. Oh, here it is. Is that it right there on the floor? Yeah, that's the one. Perfect. There it is. 90. You see it yourself? There was a label, but it came without it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you had to just write it on, just like the other pack. If you notice on the other pack, it said 75 right here, but they just improvised because this was the label. So they just wrote 90. You have one for parts right here? Yeah. That's Perfect. the one we have for the customer. They're doing conversion. So we're going to remove all 16 of them uh give what the high voltage parts they need for the conversion pack it and ship it so do you want to explain to me what you do for customers here at your shop whenever we have a customer for like solar battery storage needs or for the conversion they want to use tesla internals so we see what size of the pack they want to use if they want to get the full pack you know we're just gonna buy the car for them remove the pack and ship it over to them so basically they have all the modules balanced from the same vehicle. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so much for showing us a little bit about your shop. Behind yeah. us, as we came here, this is the 90 kilowatt going in the Model X. So uh, what we got to get on the forklift over there and get in the truck and get this bad boy put in the X. Yeah, let's do it. Perfect.
After successfully loading the replacement pack into the truck, we head back to EVS Republic. Once again, we must use a forklift to remove the battery from the truck and into the workshop. Once inside, we then safely lower the battery pack again onto our special battery rig. Now it's time to install the 90 kilowatt hour battery into the Model X. However, we must first carefully align the battery with the vehicle belly by using four rods. Up top, the mechanic screw the rods into the corners of the battery compartment, then place the other end into the corresponding bolt hole on the battery pack to assist with perfect alignment. Once old rods are properly aligned, the vehicle is slowly lowered until it's just a few inches above the battery. At this point, the Model X is lowered even slower as the mechanics make small final adjustments to not damage the expensive battery connectors. By using a small cable camera wedged between the car and the battery, the mechanics can make a small change to guarantee the connection plugs fit perfectly into each other. As you can now see, I can put my hand between the jack pad and the car, showing the battery has been inserted and the vehicle and the battery rate are fully supported by the custom stand. We then maneuver the jack pads to lift both the Model X and battery together as one unit. This prevents the battery from falling out of the vehicle as we raise it without any bolts securing the two together. After moving our rig out of the way and removing the rods used for alignment, it's time to secure the battery to the belly of the Model X, which involves a lot of bolts and patience. The two mechanics who made this job possible are amazing people. Their patience allowed us to do this job in half a day. However, we are not done yet. At this point, the 90 kilowatt battery is installed and showing a vehicle range of 60 miles. However, there are a few problems we still need to solve that I'll let Elijah explain. So unable to start vehicle, also we have an error unable to charge and also we have 75D on the screen and after the reprogramming we gonna solve all these issues. After some vehicle programming, you can see the vehicle can now drive forwards and also backwards. Additionally, we are magically able to update 75D on screen to 90D. You can also verify the VIN and mileage stay the same to prove this is the same vehicle. You can see before the battery swap, the Tesla displays an ideal range of 73 miles and a rated range of 57 miles. Now that we have a 90 kilowatt battery, the rated range is updated to 66 miles and an ideal range of 84 miles. Additionally, you'll see that the battery has 26% state of charge. Speaking of charge, yes, the Model X still connects the Tesla's supercharging network and has no problem charging. By upgrading the battery from 75 kilowatt hours to 90 kilowatt hours, we surprisingly only gained 45 miles of range, but hey, it was totally worth it to showcase what EVS Republic can do. If you'd like to see more of EVS Republic and their future builds, let us know down in the comments. We can make this a regular segment, but only if you let us know down below. So, uh, hi John, hi everyone. Uh, we really appreciate that we have this chance to invite you here and show what we're doing here. Yeah. Uh, the reason is why we're doing it because the Tesla community have a lot of issues and they really need the help with repair. Okay. And uh, fortunately, we have the huge uh, support from the community and we know and we feel how we uh, make people happier and how we help them to solve the problem they face. And so how long have you been doing this for? Eight months, is that correct? Uh, so actually we are working with the Teslas for six years, six years. but only the last eight months we uh, offer services for, uh, for, for local people for, for for just walking. We are working right now on the extended warranty services. It's going to be available in a couple of months. Because, okay. Yeah. So uh, why we developed this service? Because uh, many people uh, face the problem. They buy uh, Teslas, old Teslas, 2012, 2013, yes. Yes. and they all have issues with the bar uh, with the battery and the drive units. Yeah. And no one on the market right now offer uh, extended warranty for the drive units okay. and batteries. This is what we. Do. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and thank you Elijah so much thank for tuning in. Thank you tonight. very much, John. It's been wonderful.